Okay guys, um, car wise with you again. We're working on this 2006 Audi A8. It has a 4.2 liter motor V8 and it had a uh, coolant leak coming from here above the oil pan. So it was coming from behind the oil cooler here. So what needs to be replaced is uh, this union I saw some guys they posted on forums that this is the problem and um, actually it seemed to me that uh, this car has the same problem because it was coming from behind that cooler so this is the part which I got at Bebji on it's from plastic it's a $10 part this is the part I bought on eBay it's $28 but it's from metal and uh, I will probably I will see how is it gonna fit if it fits perfectly I will go with the metal piece this piece is $28 online I'd rather spend extra 20 bucks but you know make sure that this car will not have this problem again because the job is pretty much a little bit complicated it's not as it's not too bad when you have a lift and tools but uh, what we actually did we removed uh, the sway bar and then we removed this uh, this kind of a piece of a subframe the the motor mounts sit here so we just you know uh, supported the engine at here at the oil pan so it gave us um, we could remove this piece after that we removed the motor mount on the passenger side with the bracket and it and it opened a lot of uh, um, space here so now we can work on this cooler it's not too bad not at all it's only five bolts one here another one here which gets which is easy to remove when you remove this uh, the bracket with the mouth another one here right there and the the most complicated bolt is uh, I would say is behind this line I don't know if you can see it's behind this line right here that's the bolt this is a hard line which goes on top of the oil cooler and we removed this bolt a 10 millimeter bolt once and there is another bolt which holds this hard line right above the starter a 10 millimeter bolt but the question is right now this pipe doesn't go up I can't really pull it out from that cooler so what I will be doing there's actually the fifth bolt on top of that cooler so what I will be doing here is I will try to remove this exhaust stud and hope that the stud will come out together with the with the nut and if it will come out it will give me enough clearance for me to remove this line put it aside that way I'll be able to reach this bolt right here that's pretty much it I would say this is a uh, if you know what to do the steps I would say this is maybe a two-hour job it's not so bad at this car pretty much um, I'll see you later when I'm done with it all right bye. okay guys uh, 15 minutes later we have this thing out what happened uh, we tried to unscrew this this bolt this nut but the bolt didn't come out with it so I had to pry this line a little bit up in order to get the last bolt uh, and we've removed the whole oil cooler assembly it's sitting right here this is the piece which we need to replace this is the plastic piece and it's broken in pieces this thing heats up and see and this plastic pieces are just trash so what happened when I was pulling the cooler, this is the place where this union thing goes in. So here's the piece which is still in there. And we'll be removing it from there and putting probably, I'm pretty sure the metal piece, not the plastic one. Because even if you get the new plastic piece and when you wiggle it out, you can crack it easily and then you'll have to do the job twice again. So I'll be on the safe side and try and fit the metal piece in. I'll talk to you later. Okay guys, putting this oil cooler back together. This is the bolt. I didn't have any uh, 
access to it so I could see it so you pretty much you need to uh, put it back in without looking at it you won't be able to see it but you need to put it back in and tighten this uh, cooler line back in and don't forget to change those o-rings uh, okay